really quick if you're watching this and you got a rejection letter just know you you <laughs> just know that your acceptance letter is coming like it is on its way to you currently you pray for it you manifest it it's coming to you So, um, what is up, y'all? Um, first of all, y'all probably could tell by my voice that my voice sounds a little different. Oh, I think I'm actually possibly getting sick. So, excuse my voice. I hope I'm talking loud enough. I got these dang AirPods on, so maybe that'll help. But yeah, so in this video, in this video today, I'll be showing you guys my graduate school decision graduate school decision reaction so basically i'm gonna just be showing you guys my reaction slash telling you guys because for one of them i didn't record it it was like super late at night it wasn't even on my mind but yeah and i'm also gonna give you guys like some advice and some tips about like the application process and just a quick little life update since i really haven't been posting so yeah let's get straight into the video first off the schools that i applied to i applied to tulane lsu walden and um oh mcneese i applied to mcneese so basically um for the longest it took me a minute to kind of be like um i don't know what i want to go to grad school for at first i was stuck between clinical psych and clinical mental health counseling but then um after doing some more research i actually discovered social work and my plans for the future is to do um l lsw then do my lcsw licensed clinical social worker so that is my ultimate goal with doing social work and i applied to mcneese for aba because i currently work um in the aba field and i kind of do enjoy it so i did apply to that and everything else was social work so yeah so first off we gonna go with mcneese so like i just said i applied to mcneese for aba which is applied behavior analysis so it's kind of like working with um children with behavioral type of things like autism um adhd things like that just like behavioral problems i applied to them and i freaking got rejected <laughs> i got rejected but um now I can sit here and laugh about it because like afterwards it was so funny but like y'all I was crying like I was bawling I was like um it got to a point where I actually didn't even want to go to school for ABA anymore I was kind of like eh, and kind of want to do a little something different so I wasn't too too pressed about it but it was just like my first rejection letter so I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna go to grad school like and then it was like literally it came in I got that email um at like eight o'clock at night and it was so crazy because I had called McNeese the day before to tell them that like my um NSU transcripts weren't gonna be in until after graduation and they're like oh, okay that's fine i'll go ahead and forge your application for review uh you should hear something within a week whoop -de whoop -de do and literally the next day they sent me an email so i didn't get into mcneese because i didn't meet the gre um i don't i didn't meet the gre requirement that's why i didn't get into mcneese but their requirement was um a 286 and i made a 280 and they were like if i would have made like five more points then it would have been cool but i know some schools don't really trip about gres like if you make up for everything because my cv in my opinion i feel like my cv makes up for like the gre score so then after that 
I was kind of just looking for schools that did not require the GRE because for those of you who do not know, the GRE is $205 unless you get a waiver. But the waiver takes about almost a month to come in and I didn't have that much time to waste because I do graduate in December and I wanted to know what school I was going to go to before November. So I couldn't really, I didn't want to and plus I couldn't retake it again. It would have just took too long. So yeah, McNeese denied me. And then when I got my GRE score, that also limited me to my programs. So I couldn't apply to Southern and I couldn't apply back to Northwestern because in Northwestern, they need a 290 for clinical psych and uh, for clinical mental health counseling at SU, you need a 291. So that was out of the picture. But also I wanted to do an online program. So um, second school, is Tulane um so I was actually accepted into Tulane I got into freaking grad school so um I actually Dylan came with a clutch and he recorded it so I'm gonna start a clip right now of me not me but you gonna see this watch the clip we over here crying and whatnot because someone, someone got into grad school, baby. Tulane. Who's he crying? <laughs> Big titty baby. He told me two weeks and it's only been a I week. I told her she was going to get in, Mom. She didn't. My mom was like, they didn't accept me, so I didn't want to open it. Wait, she was going to titty baby. I didn't even open it, crying already. I like, hey. Hey, what you crying for? You got in. You had confetti on everything on the email. A fancy yeah, email. Yeah. She started crying. Look. Let me see it. Let me see it. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> oh, my baby in grad school. Let him know for the one time, babe. Yay. So, yeah, like, y'all, when that letter came, I was just so sad because it came at like six seven ish and i was like i was sitting there and i just so happened to open my email and i was like oh my god and that was like what's wrong i was like i got another um i got another decision he was like did you not get in i was like i don't know probably not they must send their rejection letters at night um i'm never gonna go to grad school forget my career like i was i was so mad and I didn't even open the letter yet I was like <laughs> I was crying so hard and he opened it for me and uh, I'm also gonna show y'all it came with like confetti like when I opened it it went pew I was like hey so I got into Tulane's online social work program um and that's what this is I actually printed this out myself I'm not sure if they um if they sent one to my house because I put all all of my important stuff still with my home address just because I won't be in that condition for very long so it'll be no point so yeah it just says dear Mikaelin Monet yeah. congratulations the faculty and admissions committee is pleased to accept you into the online masters of social work program for spring 2020 and then it just tells me everything I need to do and all that and then honestly everything after that didn't matter because i'm going to freaking tulane <laughs> i'm gonna go to tulane uh i just want to show y'all that my tweet freaking blew up when i uploaded on twitter like people were showing me so much love i'm gonna put that here people were showing me so much love i was like oh my gosh but yeah like i'm going to tulane um I, I am doing an online program i just feel like it would be better for me because um of the plans that me and dylan have um i rather just do online and i'd be committed to a school this is my curtain i'm sitting in front of the window because <laughs> so yeah i just i didn't want to be restricted to a school and I actually kind of like online better because I get to like do my own pace and not have to like stay behind like I do in a classroom. I feel like sometimes I'm a little too advanced 
for my classes because like i'd be ready to just go and i'd be like okay can we move on but um so i said i was gonna give y'all some um advice for grad school applications um really quick if you're watching this and you got a rejection letter just know you you <laughs> just know that your acceptance letter is coming like it is on its way to you currently you pray for it you manifest it it's coming to you but so let's get into the advice i don't want to really i don't really want to make this video long because i just wanted it to come and just tell you guys my life update you know i got into grad school i'm graduating in december i'm moving the day of graduation <laughs> so yeah but as far as advice okay so my advice would be research 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 <laughs> make sure you like know what you want to do before you start paying all these application fees now i know some people they'll apply to like 10 20 grad schools but grad school application is there is similar don't get me wrong but it's nothing like undergrad um these fees are higher okay i think one of my fees was supposed to be 50 dollars yeah lsu's fee was 50 dollars but i didn't pay that because then i had got accepted into tulane but it had like submitted but it just it was waiting for my payment but then i got accepted into tulane and then i just decided to just do tulane and um tulane i actually got a waiver for them that's another thing another tip of advice see if your school offers waivers the school you're applying for if they offer waivers for your application fees um mine Tulane did all I had to do was attend a web seminar that was telling me more information about the program and what the program has to offer and etc so yeah research because you do not want to pay over three hundred dollars in freaking application fees and um you just wasted three hundred dollars because I know for Tulane I have to do an enrollment deposit of two hundred dollars but it's credited to my account but like still like i still have to dish out two hundred dollars and what if i would have wasted two hundred dollars in you know grad school application fees um so yeah research make sure you kind of have an idea of what you want to do you need to look in the program and make sure the program has what you are looking for that's one thing that differentiate different look at me trying to get some big ass words can you say differentiate that's one thing that's different from undergrad and grad school in general. Undergrad, you look for a school that you want to go to, you like, whatever you want. It's all about you, 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 you. But in grad school, you look for programs because every grad school is not going to have your program. So you need to look for grad schools with your program. Um, you need to look at their GRE requirements if they need the GRE. You need to look at their deadlines, priority deadline. I did priority deadline and I got a scholarship. Um, like you need to be looking at all of that. Do not wait last minute. If you graduate in the fall and you want to start school the following spring, nine times out of ten, everything is due like November. I know Tulane was November 1st priority and lsu was october 28th is october 28th for priority so you need to look at those deadlines um i personally would recommend anyone apply to priority deadline just because you're up against less candidates and like it's just the beginning like a rolling basis type thing so like as opposed to you being compared against 50 other applicants you might be just compared to 10 and you might be the best out of that 10 so i would do priority deadline um if you do come across a program and you have to take the gre study about a month in advance i studied i tried to study for like a month in advance but i actually ended up studying two weeks in advance that's just me i don't like tests like that i don't like act's gre's 
none of that because I feel like that test is stupid because regardless if in the psychology world it says it could predict your academic success in grad school or school in general I beg to differ because um mm -mm. I beg to differ sis is smart sis makes all A's sis didn't do good on GRE sis still got a scholarship this sister still accepted into the Tulane University. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, if you did take the GRE and you made a low score, don't worry about it. Don't let it get to you. Um, yeah. What else would I say? Oh, one thing that I didn't know was that your letters of recommendation have to be sent from that portal so like one of my letters was emailed to me and i tried to just upload it but i couldn't like you have to type in their name their number all that and they have to like submit it for themselves so or well, one thing i would say is make sure you contact your professors your whomever um in advance i told my professors that i needed letters about a month and a half in advance almost two months actually i would say more than that because i had already kind of told them like at the beginning of the semester like hey um i'm going to be applying to grad school would you mind doing a letter for me um if your grad school tells you you need three letters i would still get about five people to write your letters just because you never know if someone's gonna like fall through or just life happens um i have one person who did not fill out my letters but it was okay because I didn't really need them anyway but I just had them as backup the backup didn't even get backed up <laughs> but yeah so and make sure you're staying on them like yeah um you know they're they should remember to do your stuff but at the same time you kind of have to like don't nag them don't go up to them every day and be like hey did you do my letter 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 like no that's annoying um i kind of just first i sent the reminder through the website and then i told them i was like hey i sent it and then i probably did it i waited about two weeks and then i asked them again just a little reminder and then you can also send reminders from there oh your statements um because somebody asked me about advice about statements so i didn't have to do um I know some people you gotta do interviews for grad school i didn't have to do an interview for grad school i mean i talked to my enrollment advisor on the phone and um he was just asking me about like my future career goals what i want to do about my undergrad experience things like that so maybe that might have been a mini interview but as far as interviews i didn't have to do an interview but if you do if you do not have to do an interview either i will highly suggest you um make sure you put your personality into your writing and make sure you like proof check it um also show confidence like show that you can do it like i think for example one of my questions was like why do i think i'm a good fit for the program or like why do i think i'm a good student and they were saying something about like grad school is very demanding how do i plan to like manage my real life with grad school life and I was like confident. I was like, <laughs> make sure you're looking at the requirements and that you're addressing everything in your statement of purpose. Um, yeah, and they're all be different lengths too. Like my LSU one, I think was three to four pages required, double spaced, twelve point font, whoopie whoopie do. But my two lane one was six pages. And it was double space luckily they asked me about a situation that i had to go through and how did i get through it and i talked about like my grandma's death and like my dad's suicide and stuff like that so that came in handy that probably sound weird saying it came in handy but like being able to talk about a personal experience helped me be able to get it to six pages is what i'm trying to say but yeah that's, that's pretty much all the advice I really have. If y'all have any questions, definitely feel free to, you know, um, comment down below. Message me on my social medias. 
um quick life update like i said i graduated in december 20th birthday december 23rd <laughs> but um we'll be moving december 20th we will no longer be in natchitoches I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, since I got into grad school, I'll be doing like some grad school videos, like telling you guys about my experience and taking you guys on this journey along with me. Um, I guess we'll probably be doing a move out video the next couple of weeks. Mm, life is stressful. No becoming an adult. You think you don't want to be in the child's place? Huh? You want to pay some bills? Huh? Huh? I'm tired. I need to go. But no, seriously, I'm tired of playing. I'm tired of paying bills. I want a break. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.